کسی پسر نا technical difficulties. Hello everyone, I'm back. Alright everyone, I have returned. <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't worry, I saved it before everything happened. I had to turn pro- I pro- bleh. I turned post-processing down to low now. Let's see if that helps. I had a crash in the OBS side, so I assume that because what most likely when that happens, that means my VRAM didn't maintain high enough for OBS to keep streaming. It had to tank more of it to the game, so it stole it from OBS. That's why all of a sudden the fire was working. I should have taken that as a sign. We're about to crash. <laughs> Cause again, my computer went, well, I can't do both, so We'll still see if it does. Yeah, see, it's still lagging, even with low pro... pro see, see how it's terribly lagging right now? Let's go outside so it doesn't do it again. But, okay. I have a problem now I'm running into with this game. This game is very... It's kind of like City Skylines was doing to me, but I found a way to beat City Skylines. Uh, two. This game, I don't know if I can beat. I don't know if I can find a tricksy way around this because I'm not sure what else to turn down without tanking this game's look and how it feels completely. Like it, we're getting to that point now that I'm gonna have to drop stuff that's gonna make this game look like a PS2 game. <laughs> it's like the, I don't know if that's really gonna be enjoyable for this type of game. I don't know. We'll have to see, because now it's like, textures? If I do that, that's going to really help it. But it'll look like garbage. <laughs> I could try that. We could try 720. That's also going to make it look... Yeah. I don't know if anyone can watch that. Now, the, the only problem of being a YouTuber now... Like, you guys, I know you guys would be okay with it. Like, Farseer would be okay with it. Uh... Cam King would be okay with it. Like, all my main people who watch my channel would be like, ah, it's fine. The problem with being a YouTuber, though, sometimes it's like, I don't know if it'll be acceptable as far as enough to just be an actual series, if that's the case. But, wrong way. Yeah, there is no in-between there, so I'd have to go down to this. Now let's see if that fixed the frame issues inside. It looks like it helped it or we're about to crash. One or the other. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to tell when I change settings. It makes me wonder if I should start the game over. And because it, now it's revving up and, uh, and like doing this kind of overclocking thing. Which is not good for my computer. <laughs> It seems to have helped at least a little bit. That avoided at least some of the chug, as long as I keep textures at medium, I think. We'll see. We're either about to crash or it helped. Still looks okay so far. Okay, good. We'll try it this way, then. See if it'll last. If it does end up really causing me problems and even 720 doesn't fix it, this game may be the limit of my rig and we can't stream this specific game. It doesn't mean we won't do the others, but... Gotta really get that VRAM going, but the PlayStation's gotta come first. I'm gonna dig up this stump and get it out of here. Then we gotta go eat real quick. Hey, extraction level up. Wow. Okay. Good job, Gabe. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Gabe. You did it. But hopefully that'll fix it. So we want you... 
And then now we've got to eat the food. Oh yeah, we were gonna see how much food this is actually warranting me. Still lagging really hard in this menu for some reason, and I don't know why. I think this menu itself is just not optimized. Like it always lags. So I got us to 81 with four of them. Oh. So we have 16. Let's eat a couple more. Let's eat two more. Two more. While the fire is still up and boiling. Okay, now back to what I missed from Farseer. I do not remember that Banner Lord modder named Block. Yeah, he just added voice acting for all NPCs in Banner Lord. That's amazing. That's kind of cool, because Banner Lord does feel like it's slightly missing some NPC audio, but I understand why they didn't do it either. Just, it is a more budgeted game, so any type of voice acting can be expensive. Hello, my man, what's wrong? Well, they don't even get up and jump up over there. Mm. So from 79, two got us to 91. The problem is the hunger drops so fast. We have to put points into that skill as soon as possible. As soon as survival comes up more. So we're like Tam King said, next season... Or next year in season of autumn when everything is harvestable we need to just go to every berry bush around my region and just just de-berry them <laughs> not only will this help us with making berry porridge once I get my garden up and running but this will also just just accelerate our ability to gather or excuse me to to accelerate our survival level up way quicker so all right so extraction is now leveled up this is our first time here so what does this do five percent five percent chance to find extra items while digging in clay pits I haven't even started doing that okay that's cool interesting not that I've really had a problem with that so far yet, either, to be fair. I think, much like I have been doing, the first skill level is going definitely to extraction knowledge. Just to make it faster. Alright, it's still daylight. Let's see if we can go get some more free meat. We've got 16 and 14 now. So, it is going bad, though. It is in there at 75%. Because we caught it all at the same time. Oh, also... Hold on. That's not a spear. Gonna kill it with a shovel. I had to take the risk. <laughs> I was like, it's got to be right there, right? Hit it in the spire. <laughs> Alright, good. Time for more meat. Plus, this needs to level up. Alright, that's two free meat right there. Alright. So, let's go use that right now to try to get us to full. Well, that's sprinting. Don't do that, so... I just wonder, is it, does this game, like, so hardcore that I should just be walking like this everywhere? I should not even be jogging? Do I use more hunger jogging? Like, not sprinting, just this. This isn't sprinting. This is sprinting. So, even doing this jogging motion, is that using more food, I wonder, than doing this? Is that a, 
is that is this game that hardcore, I wonder. If it is, then that would explain why I'm not efficiently keeping food up. Because I'm just jogging literally everywhere, even short distances. For no reason. <laughs> It's like what it would be like in real life if you did that. That would not be... <laughs> that would not be an apt thing to do in real life. So... <laughs> Don't know. The guy is a legend modding that game. Also, did I tell you... He was the one who coded the dragons and oh really the ones that couldn't fly at first but they were working on trying to there was a way to get it to fly if you went in the code and changed something because it was so experimental they didn't really want to take a chance of it being standard because it was a little too wonky but and broke to a certain extent but it was amazing i love that mod and i haven't played it myself yet and I, I, one day we will but I, like I said, when we go back to playing um, Bannerlord again, I do want to do vanilla first. I feel like we need to do a vanilla playthrough first. As much as I want to play a modded playthrough and do all these crazy things, I'm like, no. We need to do a vanilla playthrough first. Plus, there's some characters I have to choose from for us, like, roleplay-wise, in that universe that we can kind of do, so... Yeah, it's very hard to stay away from 70, Mark. We, but we're back to 95. Just in the short distance I ran, or walked, or whatever, we went down to 70-something again. Because we barely were at 91 when I went out the door. Food is definitely... You definitely need that survival skill. I should have been picking berries like a madman. I really should have. <laughs> It might be a thing on hardcore mode. It's the I don't think it does. If it, it if it does, it's it's it well it's slow as I run everywhere. And maybe those upgrades just change the durability so that much. Maybe ten percent in this game is really high. Some games, 10% is barely 0. 0.5 to 0. 0.7, depending on how much of a whole point of a percentage they're calculating. It's insane. It's insane. This game must be like, so this upgrade in here for survival that Tim King was talking about, or is it that? So that's only 10%. In some games, 10% is barely 0. 0.5 to 0. 0.7 extra of a fall off. In this game, it must be a whole percentage. Like, that's almost like probably five to... Like, an actual whole number of up to five redu reduced. Of 10%. So... That's why that's a lot better. So that must be why it's a lot easier for you to run everywhere. I need to get this. So this was a must that I kind of missed out on. We'll go for that next. Once survival... Every time survival levels up. Wow, there's a lot of moose. Was that moose in the ground? Hi. Oh no, you were just... Okay. Ooh, free rabbit. Excuse me, mooses. I need to, uh... Where are you? Moose eye? Mooses? It's not meese. Meese would be something else. <laughs> um, the rabbit trap. That's another two free meat. So the traps are pretty good. We also need to level up our hunting enough to make more traps. Because I feel like once the traps are fully up and running, you will at least be able to maintain that way. Because the trap gives you one rabbit per, and rabbits are two meat, two meat each. So let's go ahead and get full, is what we should do. Because I also wonder if maybe slightly it calculates the higher percentages... Almost like real life, the more hungry you are, the faster you burn energy, like the less you have in your stomach. Once again, I don't think that's a thing, but you know, hey, I'm not taking any chances. That could only be a hardcore thing. Insane, man. This game is... 
don't say difficult. It's not easy. So now we're at 100. So. Let's take a sip out of our well. <laughs> it's about to be winter soon, which is not fun. You know what? Let's go ahead and start that hunting lodge. We've got enough meat that hasn't spoiled yet. Hunting lodge needs to be... I want it to be kind of up here. So, like, right here. Right here would be good. So building. Well, you put the big there, sir. Right there. Hunting lodge right there. In between all that. Because I want it to blend in with the trees. And we'll chop down. Oh, hi. We'll chop down other trees. That's ironic. By the way. Oh, he ran into me. I got him! Yes! Yes! Tube Slayer Accuracy Activate! Try it. Thought you were getting away, didn't you, sir? That's what you get for running into a hunting lodge being built. That was hella ironic. It might be a thing I oh, no, already read that. The Napoleonic mod is a must after your vanilla playthrough. You do, you die fast in that mod with all the bullets. That would be cool. I you know what I saw about the uh, Napoleonic mountain blade. That would be fun. You would die real fast if you didn't know how to play it because. Civil War fighting style isn't exactly the safest. <laughs> Line fighting is the most bravest, terrifying, and... God, we were kind of silly when we thought, why don't we just have them dodge? And I get because it's how long it takes reloading, so it's more of an honor thing, I guess. Kind of like samurai kind of thing with the way they do sword fighting, but it was like the western version, but with guns. <laughs> It's like so. You use the force with that spear throw. Also, those British ba uh, baker rivals that outrage. <laughs> hey man, British rivals are they though? <laughs> but no. But Jeff King's like, you use the force with that spear throw. Yeah, I was like, nah, you're not getting away for. You ran up on me. You, you, you going in my belly. <laughs> Which we can't let it get past what my water is right now. Let's. Take a look to see what we're going to need. Oh, we already have the stone on us, so let's go ahead and get the foundation working. Oh, I misread that number. Let me go get one random stone. Be right back. <laughs> There we go. Foundation is done. Now we need the logs. Alright, let's go eat some food. Get us full again. We kind of do have to keep paying attention to it. I rearmed the trap, right? I did. I can see it from here. That's why I put it right there. Well, we're not going to eat it right yet, but we're just going to go ahead and cook it and go back out and work on the house. Or work on the hunting lodge. Good. You do look like Luke. That was the equivalent of shooting a, uh, a womp rat. That's true! From a hundred yards away, I used the force, Luke, to kill this random rat of the jungle. Or the desert. I, mean, I don't know why I said jungle. <laughs> We need to start clearing out this area for more housing. So we'll start chopping these trees down finally. Uh, axe. Where's my axe? Did that 
tree just hit me. <laughs> just got hit by a tree. Ow! <laughs> this tree's trying to get vengeance for its tree people. <laughs> That made the stream a lot better. <laughs> that made up for the crash and everything. Oh, that was hilarious. I, I'm pretty sure the tree wasn't moving, and when I struck the tree, it struck me back. So, buddy, rewind and look at that. Was that tree moving, or did it just punch me in the throat when I tried to hit it with that? Oh, shit. Oh, I'm about to eat food now for sure. God, I'm about to also use some plantains and heal now. That was annoying. I think there's a way to craft bandages. I should look before. Yeah, that one would have hurt me if I was under it. That makes sense. But I'm pretty sure it was like this. And I struck at it and went, yeah, right back at me. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes they eat my roasted food when we get up here. <laughs> Groot's people got his fi final hit in. <laughs> Pretty sure I just saw that we weren't lurking in them trees. <laughs> oh man, this is a this is a crazy stream. This is turning into literally a Luke Skywalker stream, but you know, on a random weird planet that no no one knows where it is in a medieval era. <laughs> No one knows. <laughs> I really actually don't understand what happened. <laughs> I really don't. Okay. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Well, either way, we're <laughs> Back to full. Let's uh, work on our house. Or our hunting's lodge, not house. Let's get this hunter's lodge up and running. That was just enough logs, too. Beautiful. So now we gotta work on. So, how many we're gonna need? Probably a lot. And we're gonna need more straw, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is where it gets expensive. Alright, let's uh. Let's go cook up four pieces of meat, take a sip out of our water thing, and then we need to chop down a bunch of trees. Also, I gotta see how... Is there a way to... How do I heal, damn gang? That's something I don't understand. Other than plantains, like, what is... What can I handcraft? Is there a bandage? No. Hmm. I wonder what that would be under. I probably don't have the workbench for that is what it is. I can use these and these will heal me. It's only two though. Just have to go with that. We'll leave one just in case I can use it. Doesn't St. John's Ward give me some? No, that's poisoning. Ah. Let's just get uh, some food in us. Hopefully we'll heal over time. That helped us a little bit. Oh, hold on. Gotta get some food out. Also, speaking of the St. John's Ward, let's put it in the box. Because I don't need it right now. The fur is going to add up weight-wise, so we got to be careful of putting this in the box. Because we only can hold 50 kilograms in there. We need us. We need to start using something in the fur. I'm hoping the drying rack maybe turns fur into leather. Maybe there's like a a way to make leather. Like there's a tanning in there. That might be its own building though. There might be a tanning building. So we shall see. Uh, I'm not using the water skin right now, so I'm actually gonna put it in storage. So there's one less thing on there. Uh, da, 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 that's good. Oh, we didn't grab the meat. <laughs> so, yeah, how much percentage are these guys at? We're still at 75%. So the meat does take a while to spoil, at least. We are going to take four this time, though. 
it is going to start adding up. Let's take some of our berries. We can get 25 out of half of this, right? So let's take 50 and just eat fi have 50 on us. Just to kind of gobble down and keep us topped off. Let's do that. That also takes some of the weight out of the chest. Um, let's store my last broadleaf plantain so I don't accidentally use it. Light the fire. Craft max. Food and healing herbs. Okay, so we'll just have to eat food and do some healing for useless herbs and plantains for now if we find them. But all right, good. Let's get out of that. Let's go take a sip. And let's eat. This is point five. Let's eat at least five berries. One, okay, so that's a decent mixture to keep the hunger kind of even. So let's start chopping some trees down. We don't want to chop too many down from that side. Like I said, we want to make room over here. So let's dig up these stumps. Is there another one? Oh, okay. I'll find it eventually. Let's knock this one down. Take it over here. We need a lot more sticks. Get the door up. Yeah, you can craft potions, I think, in some sort of, in one of the, one of the huts. I just have to figure out what each hut technically covers and which crafting tables are in, e in each hut. Once I know that, it'll be a bit more uh, efficient. We need more logs and more sticks. So start clearing out these. These little baby trees. I'll leave a couple of them, but... St. John's Ward. There's a lot of it in this little area. Oh, is that not sticks? Let's chop this tree down. Looks like we're going to need to eat in a second. Hold on, let's check that actually now. 84. Yeah, even that. Look how much that takes to get us back to 93. Stone axe. Do I have another one in my inventory? Oops. No. So we need to make one real quick. Oh. 
the lag right there. I need a stone. There is one. Ooh, workshop. Nice. We actually got a new building. Nice. I'll have to see what we leveled up. Okay, so we'll dig you up. We're at four logs again. Oh, red pine mushroom. Let's not cut that down yet, then. Let's go over here and cut one of these down in the open, right here. This maple. Wait for it to finish shifting. So groups people don't hit me in the throat. <laughs> That's a nice amount of logs. It's gonna over encumber us, but we're right here, so. You can also buy blueprints from the tech menu once you unlock each hut. Oh, okay. So that must be how that works, too. Oh, that's cool. We can see the bow on that door. Or on that wall. Just the ceiling now, we're gonna know we need to go get straw for that. We can add in the log parts though. Or those sides that are just sticks. Alright, so it's just straw now and this will be finished. Alright, uh, we need to go down to the water. Let's do check food. We're at 82. Let's eat some more. Yeah, that's good enough for now. Oh, we need to go check our trap to get some free meat. Straw. Is there a way to regrow straw, or does it just regrow eventually, like every year or every, I assume, like each year back at spring it comes back or something? I don't remember how much we need. I know we need a decent amount, so I'm gonna go at least 60. I found a fishing spot for perch. It's also a duck there. But I think it's too deep out to get it. That's good for now. Those sticks, I need sticks too. They're starting to be a little... Aha! There it is! There, okay. Well, I know what that's immediately going into. This? Yes. Yes. Survivalist. 
speaking of which, then let's eat again. Because now it'll be a little easier, a little less food consumed. Night times are coming. What was I doing? Checking trout. Checking the trout. It has been sprung. Nice. I'm about to make another trap before we uh, go to bed. Oh, that was only one meat. Damn. Also, I have technology. You have resource storage, hunting lodge. Who have leveled up? You. Small wicker basket, wooden spoon. Ah, wooden bowl. I see. So we need a workshop so we can make the wooden bowls so we don't have to buy them. What are the spoons for? <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to that. Go back to technology. Oh, purely, purely for aesthetic purpose can be sold. They are made out of sticks and are sold for at least three coins, which I find hilarious. <laughs> Still think knives are better, but that's interesting. You could just put an extra bowl on a table and then use your bowl to just make food, sip it, use it, put it back on the table when you don't need it. That's interesting. You could do it that way. I don't know if I want to spend my 100 coins on this yet because we don't have this building, I don't think. I think I need to make a workshop. Let me look at my buildings before it gets too late. That would be under production? Kitchen one, probably. Yarn. Nope, there you are. Workshop one, yep. So we would have to build that before I do that. So I'm not going to buy that just yet. Oh, we need to make another trap. That's what I was doing. Wrong thing. Let's eat this one piece of rabbit we got real quick for the night. Get us back to 100, hopefully. It looks like, the, yeah, that 10% is quite high. We're already seeing effects of how much slower it is. So that's a very high scaling of a 10%. It must be a whole 10% instead of like a fraction 10%. <laughs> Which is insane. I guess I see the point of that, though. Okay, let's eat. Let us eat some food. So, two berries. Or the 94. It's still chugging even on 720 when that happens, really. Ah. Uh, whoa, yeah. It's nighttime. It has to do with nighttime, and I don't understand it. Anyways. Oh, next season, it's winter. Goes to shop with 3,000 spoons to sell? Exactly. <laughs> that, that is the plan. I was, you know, oh, boy. But here's the thing. Okay. Oh, shoot. We may have to go buy clothes. Ooh. Ooh, ha, <laughs> that's not good. Yeah, I know temperature is gold. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> Let's light this blaze up so it stays warm in here. <laughs> that's a problem. 
Because it's super cold out here. And this thing over here has no roof. Let's chop this tree down right here. It's the closest. We're going to have to just keep an eye on it. When it gets almost halfway, we have to go back to the house. And, uh... That's... I don't trust that at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brooke's trying to kill me again. He's even right here. Okay, yep, even right there. Back to the house. Back to the house. This is my need firewood now. Run! <laughs> Freaking cold. Okay. How would I use uh, the wood, firewood? Is there a fireplace, I wonder? Good job, right? You're, you're fine. Wooden campfire, firewood. Buy scheme for 30 coins. That would my happen. Because we might need a campfire outside in front of the hunting lodge for me to use it. Do I have firewood? I know I picked some up. I'm one short. <laughs> Ooh, those berries are starting to go bad. We might as well chuck these things then. I poisoned myself. They're already poisoned. Well, that's not good. Uh, I need St. John's Wort, right? Yeah. Over here. <laughs> well, might as well throw these things back and let them turn into rot then. Damn it. So all of our berries are gone. Or these are at 50. We'll replace them. Damn it. So at 25, the berries become too dangerous. St. John's War. That was stupid. Alright, the rest should go off on its own, I'm pretty sure. Sorry, dude. My bad. <laughs> My bad there, sir. That was a bit of a goof. That was a bit of a goof. <laughs> okay, now, make sure that I was trying to figure out. Also, damn these berries. Not <laughs> for poisoning me. <sighs> Means I can eat them, but I have to eat them slowly, right? Hold on. Let's let the poison fully go away. I want to test. So does that hurt me? Or does it have to build up and fully poison me first? No, it has to build up. So it'll go away. I just have to eat enough to make sure I don't get fully poisoned and then just let it burn away slowly. That's been inconvenient until these spoil. <laughs> Jesus. We are doing great. <laughs> Anyways, back to my brain trying to figure out how to make firewood. There we go. So I need a log. Okay. So we can make that campfire. So I'm going to go place one down. Uh, wait, before I do that. I, need, I want to have it selected. Let's buy the scheme. I'll buy that for sure. We have to have it on us, really. Yeah, I didn't try to place it. Okay. So, first let's get a log out. So, we got seven in here for our next project. The meat's starting to spoil, so let's get... Four more meat out. Cook them up. Let's do that now. So 
Talk to... Uh, oh, the torch will keep me warm? Okay. So we'll use that. That'll help. But I do want a campfire out here in the center. Something so we don't have to keep coming inside when we're working outside. Just in case the torch loses uh, against the cold and the blizzard kicks in or some wind picks up or something. This game... I don't trust this game. I, I almost just damn near poisoned myself on Barry. <laughs> Because the condition at 25, and it makes sense, it's turned red. It started to be poisonous. So, not great. Let's eat some more poison berry. <laughs> yeah, because it doesn't hurt me as long as I don't fully do it. So, I'll, we're just going to slowly eat the poison berry. <laughs> Oh man, firewood, please. So I have four firewood, we need four more. Okay. Oops, not, no, 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 no. I'm trying, sir. Alright, let's put it... Because this is where I'm going to be spending a lot of my time near this cabin and hunting and stuff. And going between the... Where's the trap? Trap's right there. That's within running distance. I don't want to have to always run back to the house while doing this. So, right there, sir. And then now I can just light it. I don't know how long it lasts. We'll use it only in an emergency. Right now we'll use the torch. How well does the torch do it? It takes a minute, but it does keep me warm. Okay, we'll do that for now. Because we can make more firewood so easily now, so. Let's build, let's at least create an indoor atmosphere for our, our hunting lodge as well. go quick. Wrong button. Oh, don't do that. Why are you, why are you chugging? I'll put the fire out for a second. There we go. <laughs> it's when I come out of a menu. Uh, we're missing a log. Let's go get another log from the house. We won't get too cold in between there, so let's go. Charcoal, bur uh, charcoal burners definitely made a lot of money the closer it got to winter. That, that actually makes a lot of sense. Good point. Wait, can we do that just on a fire or can, do we have to... We probably have to, we have to have an actual charcoal burner in this game. So I need another log. To warm up, no crap. All right, we've got the hunter's lodge complete. Now we either need to kill boars or foxes, but I need to learn. Let me put this out. I think we're warm in here, right? Is it warm in here without a fire? Looks like it. Aha! Drying rack. Nice. Okay. Good. That'll be good for the fish, because dry fish is better than cooked fish overall. Where's the crafting? How do I craft? 
Oh, you? Yes. So what do we need? For a cheap one. Linen thread. Leather, which I do have that, but I don't have the linen thread of any of these. Plenty of bolts. Sticks. So I wonder what I make linen thread out of. I would have to buy that, wouldn't I? I would only need one. That's actually pretty reasonable. We're definitely not gonna be able to get the, the higher carrying weight right now. It's more gonna be focused on, we need to get our, this kind of stuff up and running. Then I'll focus on making money that way quickly by just selling knives. Which is what I might have to do now to buy this. I don't know. So let's buy that, because a bow is gonna be extremely useful for the boars, because the boars are too dangerous to assault um, with the spear. I've had a hard time killing them with the spear. So now we need a log and a linen thread, or however we do that. Also, how much to buy the arrow? That's just not enough technology yet. But we can do this one, stone arrows. 50. Let's do it now. Because these are going to be quintessential for us to have. Simple bow, simple stone arrows. Anything in here? I assume no. At least now we can put our weapons and hunting stuff in here. Too bad these aren't free arrows. <laughs> So next goal, let's make a bunch of knives and eat some food and stuff. Because now I think my next... Oh, also we need to check the trap. I think my next bet now... Is trying to make money. So we can get some sort of linen thread somewhere. And uh, make a bow. Dry that meat out. Yeah, we're gonna... Yeah, good idea. Let's do that. The one, the, let's dry half of our meat out that we already have. The one on me, I'll, I'll eat. But. 50%. Let's eat two of these, get back to 90. Alright. Uh, right there. Let's, no, maybe we should... Maybe we should just do all of it. Yeah, it's starting to become poisonous. Luckily, cooking that gets rid of temp the, the percentage, but... One more season, and this is going to be not edible. So we might as well dry all of it out. Even though it's not worth as much food. I think I'll keep two for cooking to add back to my stack. Four of them have got to be dried. So, let's take out four now and go to take them to the drying rack. Alright, now, Tam King, if you had to pick which century you would rather live in, by the way, you can reheat dried meat. Oh, can you? I did not know that. Well, never mind. We just want to dry it all out. I'll put all of it on here. This just happens instantly. What's happening? Really? Okay, that's not how drying meat works, but we'll, we'll go with that. I do like that that's instant. That's one thing that grounded doesn't do, which is why I would admit that's harder in that fashion. Because it's not instant. That was I just sat here and somehow magically used my hand to dry the meat. Let's go get the rest of it and dry it out then. Then it's, then now we're at that point, like, it's, there's no reason to not do that. So. Thanks for that tip, by the way, Tam King. I actually did not know that. Nobody told me you could do that. <laughs> Nobody told me this. <laughs> it's alright, dude. It's alright. 
All right, let's go make more. I think it adds a couple more food when you reheat it. Really? So maybe that's what we're supposed to be doing. Maybe that... Maybe... The, oh, you know what that means? Okay, so logistics is a big thing in this game. So staging is what that's calling. Dry it out, get it all set up, then you cook it, then it becomes a full, real cooked meat. And then stuff like that. I think I see. Good to know. Well, now that we've got the hunting lodge, that means this might have made us a lot more efficient. Nice. Sorry about that, chat. I really am sorry about that. When that happens, then my sinuses are boo boo today. Plus, eat the roasted meat we have now. Let's eat some more berries. So what's that? Fifty again? I I that I'm I won't go above fifty. I don't trust that. Living off half spoiled their half spoiled berries. <laughs> Actually, let's. Oh no, it won't let me cook that. So it doesn't let me. So how do you reheat it though? It won't let me reheat it. Roasted meat says it needs raw meat. Is there a? Cauldron? Oh, why'd the fire go out? Other? Do I need something else to do that in? Like the kitchen? Maybe only the kitchen lets me do that. But we don't have that unlocked yet. I still think drying... So what's... Let me see what the percentage between drying meat food-wise and roasted is. So that's five... That's six. So it's only one difference. So overall, drying is still better off since we're having a hard time keeping enough. So, even if it does a little bit less. Let's eat that then. Gets back to 95. And then eat some more berries. We're at 97 now. As we get that skill upgraded, it'll be easier and easier though. There is at least that. So, I'm gonna put all of the dried meat in here for now. Just so we can try to keep it in storage and I eat only what I need. Straw is gonna get put in here for now. So we have extra. We need to build that workshop. Because if I can buy onions, I can make this into... I can make the what little roast meat we need to cook into some insane porridges and stuff like that. So I could actually make 20 food per. Then we could go all the way down. Then we could go down to 80 to 70 and be easily able to get back in like two soups. Hmm. I also think boars is what we need. I have a feeling boars gives us way more meat, but I just haven't been able to easily kill one yet. That might be my next goal. I think we need to go to town and see how much it's going to cost me to get that thing to make that bow. Torch. Water will be fine for now, so... We'll have to eat when we get back. I need to see if they even sell linen thread at this town. 
pretty sure I reheated it. Maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. Maybe it's a different utensil. It might be something you can only do in the kitchen. You can't just do it at a random fire. Which seems kind of strange, because you could do that at a random fire, but, you know. Some of the things in this game where it kind of cuts out, it adds extra steps. My brain goes, okay, that seems odd. That's the same principle why I think they balanced out the rocks. Maybe it has to do with some balancing. That they didn't want to lose. I don't know. I hope this torch lasts all the way back home. This thing's actually starting to burn out for long distances. It's cold over here, apparently, so we're fine. Crows are rare, and they give a lot of meat, so we're not passing up on two crows. Nice, let's go. We're not cold, so we're not gonna use the torch right now. Sick. Save it for when he starts doing that, yeah. I doubt you sell it. I'm not sure who to talk to about this. I doubt, um, this town might not even have that. We do need onions, but not right now. She only has eight, though. See you soon. Really? You can't serve? Alright, I'll go by a... It's cold out here in the village. I like how they all like sitting around a fire that's not lit in winter. <laughs> yeah, because that makes sense. Hey, old friend. Only the best products here. So I doubt any of the ones here have that then. I, mean, I don't know why a food person would have it, but I'm going to check anyways just to be safe. Day. Have a good day. We need to be romancing, but I just don't have time right now. Hey, old friend. Best goods in the valley. Didn't think so. Have a good time. This town don't sell it. That's not good. Oh, we may have to hope I can... We're going to have to save it before I try the, what I'm about to try. Because if we die, it kills us immediately. Oh, we're going to have to warm back up. Hold on, the fire's lit now, so let's go sit beside it. Let's get warmed up. We'll eat some berries while we sit here.
that cart had wheat? What cart? What? You're talking about outside the village? You passed it on the way to the village. Okay, we'll uh, check it out. I'll check for carts on the way back and look for wheat. I don't think I can turn it into bread, can I, though? I might be able to sell it, though. Or plant it. But then again, it is winter. I'll store it for now and figure out what we want to do with it when we pick it up. We need wheat seeds, but can't you get seeds from the wheat? I'm actually not sure. Alright, we're warm. Let's make our trip back. You don't, uh, wait, I assume it was a turned over cart, not not a guy standing in front of a cart. Although, you're, you're a fast travel, right? Yeah, you're a fast travel. Let's go back up on this road. I came down this road up here. Is that more crows? I see the cart, what might be the cart you're talking about. Let's get some more crow meat. At least we're getting meat back. Crows definitely do seem to be an unusual safe bet for food, which is odd. It's like, don't forget to kill your crow, local crows so you never starve. That oh, one's walking towards me. Sir wanted to be a part of the meal. Wow. I'm straight in the face. Now we're becoming a regular hunter. I'm surprised we haven't leveled up yet. Also, we have an absorbent amount of feathers. Well, we need to be able to make a bow. Start turning them into uh, arrows. Oh, wait, hold on. Didn't check the cart. It was a cart I saw, right? I see what you're talking about. What the hell? Might as well harvest some random sticks. Okay, well. I see that attack gang. We need to eat. The problem with this journey is it eats into my food so much until we level up. Let's see some more poison berries real quick. That at least got us to 76. Come on, get out of the menu. Still chugging a bit, but that's okay. Actually, we're warm now. We're about to run out of the torch, so we gotta try to make it home before I freeze now.
Alright, let's use the rest of the torch. Because we're almost home. We'll make another one. We can make firewood. I think it's just firewood. Get some sticks or something like that, or some straw. There's a sound of a campfire here, but there is no campfire here, technically. I'm only going to cook four of these and dry the rest. <laughs> On a campfire that's clearly lit. So we can get our hunger back up to where it was. The game's freaking out on me now. Hold on. Let me go outside for a second. Even on 720, it wants to give me issues. Yeah, I figured I had to eat that much meat just to get back up. Okay. We're basically back to full now. Okay, the poison is starting to kind of wear down on us, but it's really all I can do to keep us kind of topped off. Here's what I'll do. I'll cheat. I'll eat the rest of the berries, but I'm also going to use what's left of my St. John's wart just to get it out of there. Head over to the drying cabin. Mm, we have like six in there, don't we? So let's make six more and keep six for cooking. This should start to keep us kind of stabilized a little bit. I still would love to find out where that linen thread is. It's got to be in one of the bigger towns, but I haven't explored enough of them. Nighttime, you get cold way faster, which makes sense. Oh, wait, hold on. Quick, 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 quick. Alright, we need to make a torch now. Well, let's sleep till the morning. It's a little warmer outside. Now we need to make torch. Which is some straw. Oh, I thought it, I needed firewood. I don't. Okay. So let's put stuff in the storage then. 
the weight's starting to get up there. I have to use those logs to start working on the workshop soon. Um. There is no other meats in here except that. So let's do the dried meats in here. That's pushing it. So we'll keep this these this meat on me for now. Feed our last two poison berries on us. And let's take out since these are going to be useless to us next season, we're not going to be able to use any of these. So we're taking all 50 of these out of the chest because the berries are no longer going to be here. We need to eat these before the season ends because these won't poison me <laughs> because these aren't at 25%. So we need to use these before the season ends. So we're just going to spam berries. So, oh yeah, I need a straw. I'll put the rest back after I'm done with it. Torch is always a thing. Okay. Let's cook four of them for now. Have you unlocked the storage hut yet? Let me check. I actually don't know. Resource storage, yes. We actually probably should do that, huh? Okay. So what do you think's what do you think's a good call, Tam Gang? And everyone giving me tips for tonight, uh storage next or should we go with workshop next? We need to look for boars and foxes. Storage. Alright, let's go put that out. I'm going to make that kind of centralized in the village as well. I think the market's eventually going to be like, right? This entire little area. So I'm going to put storage actually right here as a centralized location. Plus, our hunter has access to it. Because I can make it around them. Depends on how big it is, too. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I thought so. Holy crap. Okay. Mm. That is a problem. Not even enough room up here unless I knock out all of this. Which at least would help me build it. Crap. We don't want the storage to be too far from the markets though. So I guess we gotta knock all this down right here. to settle with it being down there if I can't get this to fit in but 
since it needs this area cleared in order for this to work. There's also berries right here, so we could technically also put some bear store the berries in here since they're closer. I didn't do that. There we go. Carrying too much already. Did that clear enough for it or no? Let's see. My side is killing me today. Not exactly. No. So the trees are in the way of that one and that one. Alright, we're gonna have to take this. Let's put this the logs in here for now. This is closer for me to walk. Logs gotta go in here for now, just because it's closer. Let me clear this out. This one over here was also in the way. slow walk back. It's right here. Might as well grab this one too. It's gonna be a heavy walk, but we can get there. Storage didn't lumberjack. That is a good point. Transfer whole stack. We're also going to put our feathers in here. This is the hunting lodge, and the feathers do use them for the arrows. I'll bring them over here later. Now, how are we doing? Oh, okay, right there. So that tree? Right here? I assume. I need to eat some more, more of those berries. And some food. I'm just trying to do it all at once. New building unlocked. Woodshed. Nice.
40 longs, okay. Tracked. Okay, so let's go see if that's enough. Also, let's eat while we're in the comfort of indoors. Let's eat like 10 of these. 73. Yeah, round four is about what you need just to get back to full. Gives us that hunger meter on that just enough. Oh. Oh, where'd it go? What? Oh. Right there. Yep. Because we want this to be centralized. Because the woodcutter I'm going to try to put like somewhere over here. Or over here. I don't want it to be too far away. But I also don't want it to be interrupting the wildlife. Like the moose standing 10 feet behind me. It could have killed me if it was a, they had horns. So... Just not perfect. Our foundation complete. Well, that's a steep resources building. All right, let's go get our logs. Um, I think it's like eight. Maybe six, can't remember. I'll go get more. Let's chop down this one random tree right here, actually. Oh, this is going to be expensive. Oh, this is going to be expensive. Okay. 
I need to go chop down more trees. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be an expensive build. Let's at least get the uh, outside done. If we get the outsides done in the roof, then it'll make it warm in there while we build the rest. This little path's got to be cleared anyway, because this is going to lead down to the market. Oh, wait, hold on. Might as well take both of these out. I see a floor right here. Is it this? Oh, that was the inside foundation. It's not too cold enough in here, it might be. Looks like it is warm enough to stay in here now.
water soon. Oh, I didn't broke my hammer. Okay, well let's go do do food and water now and come back. Torch. Nice. Scarf down a bunch of berries. Scarf down like 10 berries. Uh, maybe 15 berries. Just to keep us a little bit controlled. Food lies, there we go. Our health is a bit low because the cold keeps kicking in. Also, while I'm here. So, so we don't have to come back for it. Where'd all my straw go today? You still? I'm gonna put some in here. Not really? Oh, it's still on me. Oh. oh. That makes sense. So we have straw on, so we can actually just make it as we go then. So it should be good. So that's where my hammer is supposed to be. Uh, we need to make another hammer, a log, which I have, and some sticks. Alright, and we'll go ahead while I'm in here, because it's going to run out in a second. Make another torch. Alright, let's go. Because we're going to need to hold this out permanently so I don't lose any more HP. Let's drop down you. Uh, hey, that's why I did that, so it automatically bring it out here. And all the walls. All the walls are up. Alright, now we're gonna need more straw and stuff. I have it on me, but it's not gonna be enough for this whole ceiling. was getting colder and then the game went oh wait he just filled that in <laughs> yeah now we need more logs and a straw so let's go get the straw first go back to our re our reed location because getting in the water is probably going to make me a lot colder. Also, let's eat some berries.
Let's say we need 120, something like that. It's gonna be a lot. Maybe I should just go for 200. It's quite a lot to be carrying, but we need a lot of straw for that roof. It's a very big building. I'm gonna clear out this whole little sector right here. Maybe 120. I might be able to get away with 100 to 120. Because realistically, we also need enough to keep making torches to get through winter. So I'm just kind of grabbing a lot right now. I'll stop at 160. Get a bunch of it now, so we don't have to keep coming back out here for a little bit. We only want the outer edge ones. Try to leave the shore ones, so maybe just in case it needs more to grow. I don't think it does, but that's good enough. Uh, by the way, did you know there's a third person camera? Oh. Huh? Is that better? I almost wonder if that's better frame. Better frames just because now I'm not zoomed in on the fire. Huh. Good to know. Thank you, Dab Gang. <laughs> that's cool. We can now see Luke Skywalker for all his beauty. Look at him. <laughs> Alright, we need logs still. Alright, let's go get some sleep then. How much food we got? Let's uh, go ahead and eat some berries. We're about to run out finally on berries again. go to 10 and I hate that oh you know what I didn't check hold on yeah it still lags it Oh, Ooh, excuse me, chat. Ooh. Well, you can actually see him doing it in third person, too. We'll dip into our dried meat storage if we need to, but for now, let's chop some trees down. Uh, you seem good. My nose is just 
going insane today. I don't want to chop too much of that around down the, the the rabbit trap though. Oh hi. It looks stranger in third person. He looks like he's just attacking it in third person. I will admit in first person it looks more realistic even though you are just bashing a tree. There's no rhyme or reason the way he's hitting it, but hey. Well, I've got enough health. Got some sticks while I'm at it. Did we dig him up? Yeah, we did. Without my leg right there. <laughs> this place is almost completed. Wish we could put the, that away now. We'll warm back up inside now. Completed! Construction completed. Resource storage one. Nice. So how do I store stuff in here? Is it just looks like you can store logs and stuff in here? Do I just drop them in here? Is that like you just can drop logs in here, or this is weird? Does it happen when you put them in here? I wonder. Let's see. We don't need the logs anyways anymore. We now put the fur in here too. We can try to now. Now we can start keeping food inside the main house because this place has a thousand kilograms of storage just put everything normal in here straw should go in here too for now we'll do half Okay, so there's straw in there. Yeah, you don't see it visually, but that's okay. There's probably decorations we can do to make it look like that. Uh, in here, I want to put the feathers. We're going to move all the feathers. So let's move some stuff back and forth a little bit now. Rabbit trap hasn't triggered yet. So, firewood I'll leave in here, but the seeds and everything, like things that are not perishable too easily, need to go in there. So we're not wasting the uh, stuff in here. Flour technically does too for now until we can get a kitchen to put it in. Fur and leather definitely need to go in there. Uh, all the logs need to go in there from now on. Alright, I'm overweight. Let's go take it over there. Notice the writing is now green. That means it's in the correct storage. Oh, wait, really? Hold on. Let me go check that. Really? I did not know this. What do you mean green? Oh! Oh, 
but I need a food storage for the others. <sighs> it's like <laughs> I understand now. I see the light of the waves. <laughs> So we need a kitchen then, because this is... Nope, that counts. So flour, okay, cool. So that's how you tell. So flour can go in regular resource. It doesn't need to be in the kitchen, which is strange, but okay. <laughs> that's good to know. We'll put all our straw in here then for now. Good to know. Thank you for that, Tank King. I did not notice that. Thank you, thank you. Also, I'm surprised there's no door on this thing. I guess it makes sense it's just storage, but don't you want to keep the weather out? <laughs> Let's eat all the rest of our berries. Let's get ourselves back to 90. We'll have to hunt some food or eat some dry meat, but let's go get the rest. I might go down the road and see if I can find some crows. <laughs> I'll go back for the straw and get another torch soon. But for now, we're just moving stuff back and forth. Moving stuff back and forth. needs a food storage, so there's no point in changing the food for now because we don't have a storage for any of these. These unripe berries are going to go bad. Once they go bad, I'll transfer them over, though. Because it probably goes from food storage to just storage. So. Wheat can move. It can go in the resource storage. Technically, so can wooden bowls. You probably do actually need to have them in there so people can move them to their houses, I assume. I am going to do that. I want to keep, get rid of everything that's not really needing to be in here, like these feathers. Bronze axe can go over there now. The apple tree seedlings can go over there now. Um, that requires food, so yeah. So most of these is, even though some of these are resource storage, technically, I don't want to have to run back and forth for some of these, so that still needs a food storage. We're going to put the kitchen kind of near us. That's going to be another centralized. Hopefully it's not as big as storage is, and I can put it in the center of the market, but we'll see. Unlike storage, since storage was huge. So... Because what does food storage require? Let's look at that, actually. Food storage one. I need farming tech to get this. So we might need to start a garden soon. Right, we might legit need to start a farm in the next episode. So I think now my goal... Now, now I think for the rest of this stream, after I get everything organized... It's now going to be trying to kill a boar and a fox three times. So it can finish off the hunting uh, goal for today. Well, the feathers all moved to the other one. But. This technically isn't resource storage, but since is this is the hunting hut, I assume putting the feathers in here is okay. We are going to take the logs out of here, though. Take those out of the hunting hut. Don't need to be in there. We can put them in here now. Come and get them when we need them. Now we're up to 16 logs. That's probably almost enough to build a whole building. I imagine lumberjack. Let's check with the lumberjack. Hold on, let me go back inside. I'll need the outside.
There it is, woodshed. Wish it would tell you how much it is. How big is it? It's actually really tiny. Okay, well, this is that tiny. This can go right here. <laughs> we can aesthetically actually make this work and make it seem like it's a part of storage. Put that there. Let's go back and let me pull out my torch real quick. Stone. Eight stones. We'll gather some extra just in case I need it to make a hammer. Woodcutter's cheap too. We'll do that next. Maybe we put it on the other side of this. Have them kind of be next to each other. Alright, now I need logs. Six logs. there, two logs and eight straw. I'm going to pull my straw out completely because I need to make another torch. Actually, I'll pull out 20 because I don't think we need more than 10. Pull out 20 straw. Just put that down. Let's make yeah, only 10. That. Me two logs. Gotcha. Okay. Oh. Alright, so that's how we make planks and firewood here as well. Probably cheaper. Nice. How much storage? 50. So not as much in this. So you don't always want it in there. Okay. Woodshed, mine, excavation, well, herbalist. It's another house. Farming. Orchard. A type of farmland can be used to grow trees and hot plants. A type of farmland can be used to grow crops. So that's the next episode. Resource, 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 food, food, food. Builder's hut, market sale. Oh yeah, no, what we need next is, where is it, no, uh, uh, you, how big are you, workshop isn't that bad, let's put this down here, we want this to kind of be near town anyways, Hold on, where's my well? I need to match it with the well. This is going to be heavy tool making, so this can go... Right here. Maybe more. Keep letting myself get cold. That's 
bunch of stones over here. Perfect. We need to eat, food, get food soon, or eat some dried meat soon. I think ten's all I needed. Punch boost like uh like Arnie did it, Godin. Then we could try to moose. I don't know how aggressive the moose are. Maybe we can kill them if we get a good headshot. I don't actually know. Eight logs. Oh wow. Okay, that's gonna take a second. This place is starting to look cool, though. Alright, let's eat some... Do I have food on me, or do we need to make food? We need to make food. So let's go eat some dried meat. We'll be back. As long as I get a sip of water while we're down here. Winter's almost over, thankfully. We'll have survived it soon. Uh, we'll take some of... We don't have any more regular meat, so let's take four of our dried meat out and eat it. So let's go drop down another tree right back here. Because we don't have eight logs in the storage. Oh, we also need another. Uh oh. We need another wood axe. Wood stone axe. Oops, I didn't assign it. So that needs to be a number one. Slow walk back. Gonna be a slow walk back. We're gonna put most of it up here. I'm only gonna take eight with me. You need like ten spears to kill it. That's if you can catch it. That's true. It's gonna run away. Instead of trying to kill me like the boars. We're slow walking our way through. <laughs> I'm gonna temporarily put it in this storage because it's closer. Since this will need some logs in it here and there. I'm actually slightly faster when holding this because it's not in my inventory. Let's put two in here. The other eight have got to go with me. 
Oh, that was a terrible spot. Okay, so don't do it from that side. The logs actually visually go in that one. Okay, let's go. So six straw, that's looks like uh, sixteen straw? Sixteen straw. Sixteen straw and two more logs. We'll take them out in here. So two more logs. take 17 because there's an even number in there. I have to do that differently. Once we get built, this belt will focus in on the finishing the hunting. We'll also need more meat. We're going to run out soon. So we're going to need another 16. Because I misunderestimated that. I thought it was one whole side. It was two whole sides. Two parts to a whole. Yeah. Two more logs. Two more, or 16 more straw. Which, by the way, so far, Simulator is already kind of won. I don't think we're going to get any votes towards anything else enough to change it now at this point. Because we're up to three now. So, <laughs> I'm, we're just probably going to be doing Simulators this week. Just to let everyone know. There we go. Workshop completed. Ah, okay. Yeah, all right. Wheel. Cool. Uh, I haven't got to check this chance to check ATS yet. I'm going to check it tonight because I'm probably going to do a drive tonight to work on our money for this week of my original goal, what I wanted to do this week. Which what I want to do, try to do this week is buy another truck for one of you guys and start working on it. Like We're, we're going to try to do, build in, because what my goal is to build in each of the trucks you all wanted to have and customize them how you want them to look. And bring them into the uh, into the game. So, uh, what's I doing? My nose, my nose is dangling. Hope I'm not getting sick. I hate when the, I, this feeling is usually always weird when I start getting kind of slightly sick. I just hope I'm not. I don't really feel like that right now. That would be terrible. Another 
towards because there are other ones about to go out. Okay. We're also about to lose this hammer, but we don't really have to build anything now. I think that's good building-wise. Now we need to focus completely on uh, survival. Let me bring just so we have it 20 straw so we can make more torches. Because we're going to need torches when we're not trying to kill something. Let me go check the trap. Yep, trap is sprung. Might have to make a new one on this one. We need to look for boars and foxes. Yeah, we have to make a new trap. Only one in one meat on that one. That was pretty terrible. Uh. Uh. Da, 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 wrong button. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it just ten sticks. Wait, it's not showing me which way the... Oh, I barely can see it. So right there is fine. Still at our trap limit. So let's go looking for a boar, and then we're going to save it before I uh, try to kill it. So we don't have to reload or anything. Or so we don't have to lose our progress. We're usually up this way. Let's head uphill. Also, let's... The problem is I also am wounded right now because it's cold. There's one right now. Alright, let me put this fire out. Save it real quick. Out the lake. Save. Alright. See, I don't know if I want to do this in third person. Got him! So it took about three? Eight meat? Yeah, okay. So boars, even though they can definitely kill me, even though I don't know where all my spears just went. <laughs> Keeping track of where all the spears land is a little bit. I will give ground to that. I'm glad it marks your spears for you, because... It's a little too hard to keep track of them when you're in the heat of the moment. I don't know where it went. I hear another one. Oh, let's make another spear. I need a log. Crap. So let's make a couple spears then. Let's chop down a tree. Okay, so boars are the meta. If you want to have plenty of food for your character, boars is what you want. amount.
Freaking serpentining. Oh man, shit. How I'm alive, I don't know. It, but it freaked me out because I thought it wasn't gonna fight me, and all of a sudden it ran at me again. Damn it. Oh, I'm dead. Yep, okay, well, we'll have to reload. <laughs> so I have to kill both again. Okay. Oh, investigate mode shows spears. Good to know. Oh, okay. Oops. Can you do a bird trap yet? I don't think I can. I'll have to look. Okay. Ah. Damn it, they're so good at serpentining and the lag doesn't make it any easier. Oh no! Oh shit! Oh my god, how did I do it the first time? He died to three of them the first time? What the hell? <laughs> Why are the boars so hard to kill? <laughs> it's not a freaking wolf. Boars are scary, but I feel like if I caught it off guard and chucked it into the side of its head, I feel like it's not going to do very good at fighting after that. Just say it. <laughs> Not like a wolf who can smell me a mile away. <laughs> and be ready for that <laughs> Oh, man. Games do sometimes, I think, go a little too hard in the paint with certain things. It's like, come on, that's not realistic. <laughs> Boars are dangerous, but only to someone who's not ready for one. Or isn't know how to kill one. It's insanity. Yeah, see that? Right there. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm gonna bleed. I'm gonna bleed to death. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to reload. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong now. Maybe I got a headshot, but then that should have been one shot, not three. 
I don't know. That's that's a bit strange to me. If if I get a headshot, the game should give me the kill on a board like that. Something of a medium size like that, I'm pretty sure it would be damn near dead. <laughs> The boars are worth good meat, but they ain't worth the danger unless you can just kill it easily. That's also why I didn't want to make my wife or one of our first villagers the hunter. Because I tend to have... The one time I did do that in our previous time I tried to play this game, they died pretty much the first day. And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> they made the boars way too dangerous. See, that's a good hit. Also, boars aren't that smart. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. That took four spears. Oh, and there's another one. I don't understand. That time I got a headshot. Like, I got a headshot that time, and now it took four or five spears. It's too inconsistent. Oh. Do I really need to get a bow just to kill a bunch of boars? <laughs> when I can't even make linen thread without buying it? I do feel like maybe they also played a little too hard in the cheapiness of just make a bunch of knives and sell them infinitely. Because it feels like that's your only real easy way to get started. I don't know if they thought about that kind of uptake when they designed that. Either that, is there no wolves in this game? Is that why? Is that why the boar is so dangerous? Are there no wolves? Because now we're stuck in this mode of just, oh, we gotta hope we can kill this boar. So I... Right there. Yeah, he gets to gut me at least twice. Your guy doesn't throw fast enough to do that. What? So what's the point of the boar? I hate to see what a freaking wolf does. They made that way too hard. There's bears too. I bet you, you know what's even ironic about this? What you want to guarantee later on by the time I'm fighting a bear or a wolf? I killed them easier than this boar. That's why your early game and survival games is, is super important. Don't make it too much of a... Of like a muck through the... A tread through the muck. Basically. Or deep... Like basically treading through snow run or broke mud. It's like it's... It's too high of a scale. I, that this is pure stupidity. I mean, I technically can't even finish this goal because we're nowhere near outfitted enough to do this. The game expects you to have an arrow or some shit for this, I guess. I really don't know what to say about it. That didn't even hit it. See, when it runs in a straight line... Wow, okay, yeah, sure, it didn't even die that time. I hit it good two times in the face. It makes no sense. Is there a hard throw? Let's see, nope, I can't hold it down. Being in that mode makes me maybe throw it harder the way more I wait. But the first one was full strength, which I see a fox. If we can kill this fox, I'll let that boar go for now. Just because the fox counts too. At least these are killable in one one hit, if I'm mistaken. Or not? Really? The dude, my my dude is not fast enough for this. Come up. Why did it run it? What the hell? The foxes are dangerous, sir. What is this? What is this? What is this? I don't know. This is kind of making me slightly not like this. I'm not having as much fun now because now I've found something in this game that makes no sense. 
I don't like when games try to say, Realism! This isn't real. <laughs> this is far from realism. I can't even kill a fox in two spear attacks. What? <laughs> that's just, that's, I don't know. As a game designer, those kinds of things pee me off. This is why certain things I just don't enjoy in certain games. Because I would have not made that decision. Yes, let me make my fox have as much health as a boar. What? I do what? We may not be able to do this challenge today. Hunting a boar and a fox seems almost freaking impossible. Oh, and my game's trying to check now. I don't know. I don't really know what to say. I'm really not sure. I got lucky, I guess, with the first one. That maybe it counted as some sort of headshot or crit hit, but now I'm not getting no crit hits at all. I don't, I don't get it. I really don't get it. So we're at full throw strength. Right there in the noggin. Right, hold on. Right there. So yeah, that was three hits. And, and I'm still stabbing. He's still alive. That killed him, but that took, what, five? Four? And I don't know if I'm bleeding to death right now or not, because I might be. I don't know, to me that seems just too, too extreme. The boar makes me less mad than the fox does, but that, that was, that's still stupid. <laughs> Alright, well that's all we're gonna get for this season, I guess. Also, now all of a sudden the frames are permanently chugging. Oi, oi, oi. I just hope I'm not bleeding or something weird like that. Because I'll just slowly die. Well, at least we got some leather, finally. We can start actually getting leather because of the boars. Um, that's still like, wow. Still not really worth the damage I just took. If the game wants to be realistic, give us hunting dogs, then. That's a good point, too, but I'd still have to train one. That would still be not reasonable for how just getting started. Unless you already had a dog from our previous storyline, like our farmhouse, like we escaped with our dog. It'd be kind of cool if you could customize your start, like a role-playing game, and maybe start with a dog. That'd be cool. Because then at that point... It makes more sense. How am I getting cold in here? You're gonna get me killed, game. What the hell? I'm in my house, in front of a fire. What? Now I feel like the game's just trying to piss me off. <laughs> this is slowly killing me. In front of a fire! <laughs> Ooh, let's just end the season. Let's get back to spring. Winter is annoying in this game. Like, almost too annoying. Dear God. Oh, great. Oh, great. 
Oh, great. That's... <laughs> In real life, you don't want to see that word, and in a game, you don't want to see that word. Oh my god, okay. Um. <laughs> Taxes! There it is. Oh, I didn't get to read it. Oh my god. Jesus. I have to deliver taxes, okay. It said that is main objective. Let's go pay Unigost, I guess. What the heck? <laughs> ah, this is, uh, yeah. Oh, boy. Great. Go get murdered by another boar. <laughs> we'll go towards Unigas' town while we're looking for the boar. I see a cut down tree I never dug up down here. I saw a stump it looked like. Oh no, I do see it. Medieval IRS is on your brother, or not exactly. Pay your taxes, there's your realism, exactly. It's like, what the hell, that's what you make realistic? Pay your taxes. <laughs> Sir, sir, don't mess with me. I will freak you up. <laughs> uh, let's go pay Unigos then. And we'll try to get another boar on the way back. <laughs> this is so silly. This is a rough start. By the way, there's a trophy for surviving the winter with no clothes on, lol. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have a spear walking into town. <laughs> I've come to rob you all. <laughs> We're just single spear. <laughs> to be fair, enough men could just take me down without even being armed. <laughs> I see, in this game, when a, you know, a boar is more dangerous, or a fox is just as dangerous as a boar, sup, you know, also come to pay my taxes. <laughs> Splendid! Alright, there you go, there's your taxes, sir. <laughs> Quest completed, pay taxes. So I have to have enough by the... So I need to remember, I need to always have at least... 50, 60 coins. Also has taxes, but... Oh, finally, hunting's leveling up. Has taxes, but somehow a raven is half the meat it gives you than a boar. Watch this. So, right, right, right. Boar gives you eight meat. 
Ravens give you four. <laughs> so something that can't kill you <laughs> just randomly spawns near the road. <laughs> Oh, I am out of a knife. Hold on. My knives are finally out. What does it take to make one? We've got what we need. Them taxes get expensive fast. Really? Is it based on your buildings, I wonder? Is that, should I be careful with that then? I wonder if it's based on the size of your settlement. Is it based on how many people or is it based on buildings? If it's based on buildings, then technically, I want to be careful at building too many too quickly. Alright, 17 me. That's that's covered us for a while. That'll, that'll cover us. Let's get back home and worry about this boar thing. This boar and fox thing we've got to figure out how to do and complete. Oh, speaking of one. I don't hunt either of these now without making a save because of this silliness. If you're gonna come at me after I hit you anyways. Oh. Cause you know, Stop laughing at me. Ah, oh, damn it. Foxes are so stupid. They can do damage, but yet they do fast so fast. Stop laughing. Oh, that's a freaking bobcat, isn't it? Where is it? I heard it. I must have got too close to it somewhere. Alright, well, we got the fox. So that's two now. Foxes are six meat. Okay. Ah. Didn't I throw more than that? I can trigger it. I gotta hit it to make it run at me, I think. <laughs> Missed it. Oh well. Oh, but there's our other target. Well, we only need... Whoa, there's a few of them right here. Well, we only need one more, and there's a plethora of them right here. I don't know how many wooden spears I have, though. So we should probably make some more.
Oh, you, no, you bastard. Pretty sure I don't have enough spears to kill it. Damn it. I gotta find my way back to those axes, to those freaking tree I chopped down. Can we see that? Oh no, there he is. We can keep luring him back in and out. I'll just have to drop one of these trees down. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, he can come inside. Crap! I'm dead. Yep. Okay. Well, we're just gonna reload now. That's why I hate this. This is way, way too fringy. Way too fringy for me. Ah. Yeah, poor cat that can dog and dog that can cat animal. Exactly, it's both. It's basically both. Oh, I didn't chop it. Gotta kill one more. Just complete this quest for the chapter four. Well, we're still a bit heavy, but we'll, we'll, some of these are gonna break as we use them. Oh boy. I kind of want the fox, because the fox is lit. It's going to run away, though. It's a problem. Alright, cat, dog, animal. You did what I needed. Now it wants us to do a farm. That's kind of what I was waiting on on purpose. Because I knew it was going to be one of the missions. Alright, that's also a pretty decent amount of meat for a little while. Even though it's a risky take. Nah, we'll leave, we'll leave him. As much as I would like more leather, we don't need it right now. And the fox will just run away from me. Yeah. Wait, these are unripe berries, right? Yep. I need to remember, though, as soon as it turns uh, summer again, we need to go get all the berries in the world. 
Literally, no, I'm just kidding. Okay. We made it back. Boy was like, oh, you think doors are your friend? Well, boy, yeah. <laughs> exactly. He was like, oh, that door isn't going to save you. This thing doesn't have a hinge on it, so I can just push it open. <laughs> Turned into a raptor from Jurassic Park real fast. <laughs> like, real fast. All right, we finally have meats. Yeah, there's the rot. Let's take the rot out of here and just put it in normal storage because this doesn't matter whether this keeps or not. I just don't want it in here taking up weight. So. Let's take this up to the storage house. So all this can go in there now. Yeah, it's definitely not the place it needs to be in, but this is the best place we've got. We also need to dry a lot of that meat here soon. We need to just craft all of it because we need a decent amount of meat to eat right now and get ourselves full again after all that ordeal of trying to learn how to hunt. Turns out the hardest thing to do in this game is definitely hunting. Absolutely terrible. We need to buy a simple bag and we need to make a... Or, can we make a simple bag at the workshop? No. I think I can make one in my handcrafting. Yeah, I just need leather. Okay, so actually, we can technically do part of this now. We won't be able to. St we won't start the whole thing now, but we can actually make that wooden hoe and simple bag right now. I'm almost guaranteed. Wait, we need to go up here. Uh, so we need leather. It's almost all of it. I might as well take all of it. So simple bag. Simple bag created. Uh, it can that be assigned to a hot bar? It doesn't need to be. I wonder. Crafted by hand and tail or tailing table, sewing hut can be used for fertilizing and sowing fields. We'll put them back here then. Uh, there. And then we need the hub to make a, a garden hub? Yeah. Need one log. Do we have any logs left? We do! Merchant locations. There are many kinds of specialized merchants scattered throughout the valley. Do not hesitate to ask your neighbors for help. They can direct you to the desired vendor or animal beater, breeder. Really? Okay. That's cool. So now, yeah, next is definitely going to, next episode is definitely going to be building a farm. Getting our farm going. Because we're going to need carrot seeds, wheat grain, cabbage seeds, fertilizer. Let's 
go ahead and assign everything. So on seven. And then two, I don't know what two originally was. Oh, the pickaxe. Well, I might as well make it now, just so we have it then. We get one more log out. That way we have all of our tools. It's gonna make me get a pickaxe at some point anyways. So, might as well. Oh, we need stones. We need one more stone. There's one right outside. Uh, hold on. Uh, assign it there. And then, let's... Don't take X. New level production. Nice, already. Wow, we're leveling up our production quite hard. Hunting is also higher, but I'm gonna go ahead and get prowling. Because it makes us quieter. Tracking animal. Ah, oh, yes! Tracking animals in inspector mode. Beautiful. Faster while sneaking. Okay, yeah, there's some. See, that's the good stuff here. Yeah, that's what we want. And then production. Um. From kitchen workstations. We don't have that yet. Insulating walls is cheaper. Ooh, durability of hammers is lossless. I think right now, though, because crafting is going to happen in the background, this is probably the easiest one to level up. We're going to max out crafting knowledge. So whether we're using smithy or workshop stations, we will grow quickly because that's what we're going to be using the most in the beginning is the smithy and workshop station so that will get us a decent amount of uh, points into the production section What is our current weight right now? We're at max weight now. We're starting to have a lot on us. I think it's all the tools. We might want to put the tools up for now. Just because we're not using them. So for now what I should do... Is I do feel like... Yeah, because it's... The weight's starting to add up. Let's put all the sticks in here. Put all the straw back in here for now. It's not winter anymore. We don't need it. Uh, put all the leather back in here. Oops. Put all my fat. Oh, no, not in here. Hold on. I need to go in the other one. Where all the feathers are going to be made eventually. Feathers go in here. That gave us an okay amount of weight. It's just all of our equipment and meat on us now. We need to eat the roasted meat that's at 50%. Let's do that now. This will get us back up to four? 96, close enough. By the way, you have a max of 15 points you can put into each skill tree. Good to know, okay. Well, we are gonna be the workshop guy anyway, so I'll st I'm still okay with what we chose. At least in production. Let's look at that, though, then. Let's 
So this one's okay to max out. She said how many? 15. So that's three out of that. I think this one's okay to get maxed out. We'll have to decide which ones I care more about and which ones we're just going to designate to some villagers. I do think it, since hunting is so hard, unless the villagers cheat now, because originally they died so, so easy when they're hunting. Unless the villagers cheat now, I may end up having to be the hunter and somehow kill the, like, basically become strong enough to be able to kill the prey myself, so... Also, yeah, okay, there it is. So this is the skill that increases trapping limit, but we're not high enough to do this yet. Now how many traps we can put down. I don't think I'm going to go too hard in the farming. Like, we're going to have a little bit of everything, but... Yeah, as far as this, I think I'm just going to go basic. Village whistleblower. Oh, whistling summons your mount. I don't even have one yet. A donkey would be nice. I guess there is how horses in here. I haven't seen one other than the carts. So I guess you can get a horse to breed or grow and use it as your mount. That would be nice. I would love to have that because it's so far apart between these villages. So we definitely want that at some point. But... For as far as farming itself, probably just max out normal farming knowledge. Diplomacy is where my main thing needs to come from. We need Romeo, we need Barter. Diplomacy knowledge. So that's already 3, 6, 9 there. Mm, maybe we won't need as much Barter. Hand of the King. 25% chance to get away. With losing King's reputation after failing his challenges. Oh god, there's going to be King challenges at some point. Good host. 10% mood reduction. Lower taxes. Okay, mm probably might go into that for diplomacy. I don't know, we'll have to see. Ooh, demand. Oh, this is the most important one. This section I need to focus on the most. This is where we got to be real careful with our... Uh, we might actually not want more Romeo than level 1. As much as I want to kind of go the Slanesh thing, I'm like, maybe I don't want this. Because we're already going to be married pretty early in the game. So I feel like going to... Yeah, that would be nice. Empathy, revealing NPC's personalities during conversations. So this is super important for me to be a leader of my village. That could go either way. We might only put one there. That's super important. And so is that. That I want for our character. I want our character to be a good leader, a good good mayor, a good king of his village. And we'll worry about the rest as we go. Pretty sure the villagers don't actually hunt. They just get meat if you assign them to the hut. Really? So maybe I do want one, man. Maybe I want to recruit some random villager then. Not a wife. Unless we want our wife to hunt. But all of our aspects and choices we had, none of them are the hunting type. The only one even close to that is probably the Sansa Stark girl. The Stark lass. She's the only one closest to probably would be a good hunter. So I have to do it for now, but um, if that's the case, then they change that. Because when I used to assign them to the hunting lodge, they would die off during the hunt. I don't miss that. <laughs> if that's been removed, then I should have done that. But oh well. Lessons learned either way. So, if that's the case, that might be what I want to do next time. Try to get so friendly with somebody or just a f some random person and see if I can recruit them. We'll need to build uh, another small house for the hunter family to live in. So, like a house right here. Let's go ahead and chop this tree down while I'm thinking about it. 
for this episode. We'll try to remember to build a house for a hunter next episode while we work on the farm. This farm is my next goal. And that's going to be over in this direction. Over there where all that open field is you see over there. We'll go ahead and pre-prep that now so we don't have to worry about it too much. I'll chop down some random extra trees around here. And one right here. Because I want my, my house to stay exclusively, hopefully, for my family. I think you can assign it, which I have to learn how to do that. We're going to go check that after this on my house because I think you can interact with it and change it to be different families. out here now. We'll have extra in there, but we can actually store it in here. And it actually fills up. That's cool. I do like that. That's cool. Like, the, the wood actual storage does actually show how much is in it. So. I don't like to cut trees around a lot of mushrooms right there, because that means that's a good spot to grow mushrooms. So let's go right here. I'm glad I backed up. <laughs> I swear Groot's people are trying to kill me in this game. The trees are the most dangerous. The boars are second most dangerous. Trees first. <laughs> Turns out the enemy of everything is trees. <laughs> damage the house. Oh my god it did. Ah! Well good to know that's a thing. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh wow. Alright. We're learning a lot today. R9, if you ever do Starfield again, download the mod that turns Crimson Fleet into the Mando Shadow Collective and prepare to hate life for 20 minutes of the game. We can barely run Starfield normally. I don't know if putting a mod in it would help us, although it would be hilarious, though. It would be hilarious. Hold on, let me fix this. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, turns out, uh, how do I switch build modes? Repair, yeah. Oh, I need straw. Broke at the last second, I need one log. 
one long. Kill the game. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay, let's try again. Repair mode. <laughs> Boom, back to normal. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, man. Crazy, crazy. So note to self, be careful chopping down logs towards the house. <laughs> Cause much like real life, <laughs> that actually damages the house. Who would have thought? I'd have never known this. So would you have tried? I didn't know this. I'm just <laughs> Yeah, don't do that next time, so real physics. <laughs> Look how fast extraction goes up, by the way. You can end up with too many mouths pretty fast. That's why I'm only gonna do one. If we're gonna do that to try to maintain food for, for me, like they get meat for me, then maybe I should go ahead and get him. But will they, here's the question though. Will they put the meat inside the hunting shack or do I need a kitchen for them to put it in? Like a food storage. Not a kitchen, that's not what I meant to say. Do I need a food storage for them to put it in? That looks beautiful. That's how you know we've got plenty of logs. Because if we do need that, then we're going to need to make sure we give them enough storage, which means we're not able to truly do that until farming truly gets going, which is next episode, so. Realistically, if we can't do it right now, we can do it after farming. Because then we'll have the ability to build food storage and put it near, but in between uh, where I want it. That's gonna be near my house. Like, probably right here somewhere. Probably... Literally right here. Just because this is near the main storage. If not, I'll put it up here. Next to this big tree. Kind of keep everything. Uh, the only broad reason why I don't totally want to do that, I want to keep raw resources up here. Since the market's going to be up here, or down right here, I want important stuff to be near it. So I'm thinking food storage or kitchen here, or and whatever's not there, that's up here or something like that. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Not sure. Oh, I need to check my trap. I'll put the fur up. How much, how's the food in here looking? So I think it's either per day or per season. I think it's per day that the meat goes bad. So let's cook. The one on us first. Actually, let's grab it. We'll need eight. No, nine. Nine. 
Let's make nine food on us right now. I'm gonna go dry a lot of the rest here in a little bit. We're gonna probably dry ten of it, maybe eleven. Uh, let's see. So for now, craft all ten of these. Actually, no, 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 no. no. How much are we at? We're at quarter. Cook six of them. Leave four. think it goes into the shack. So if it goes into the shack, that's good. We can just go ahead and hire him before we even get farming done. And we can have meat be coming in in the background while we're working on trying to get the farm up next. So, let's see. Uh, that's good. Oh. We leveled up again. It would be hilarious when you're fighting Mandos with a pistol and a mining laser. It would be hilarious. It would look insane. Because <laughs> it's like, that means these Mandos invaded this random mining company. Go dry the rest of it before we go to sleep and call it. I want to try to keep a, an assortment of emergency dry meat. Then we have a little bit of both. How much dried is in here? See, they're at. Yeah, they they take a lot longer to go away. Okay. We do need to start focusing on eating them for now, though, because I think once you dry the meat, it goes back up to a hundred percent or cook it. So, we'll do half and half of that fifteen to uh, um in the next episode. Dry half of it cook the other half and just have a bunch of food to eat in the background while we make the farm and decide where we go from there in the next episode. That does seem good. Let's sleep the next day. Alright, now we save it. Chapter 5 we have reached Guardian Dina boys all right yo Sealy welcome welcome hello or not are we Neanderthals again to, uh, to scavenge food from local velociraptor if not perhaps mammoths anyways how you been uh, this fine afternoon doing good just about to wrap it up. Technically, our Velociraptors, according to this game, are boars. Just boars. Most dangerous thing in existence, apparently. They technically are dangerous in real life. It's just, I feel like any form of proper arrow and good spear chucking, yeah, you're okay. But, not average person, sure. <laughs> 
they, they get gutted. <laughs> but they're Jesus from the old medieval days. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, they will, but not not when you can chuck a spear between their eyes. Did you guys hear about the uh, 14th century zombie game called Blight Survival? I have not, no. I Well, hold on. I heard a mention of a medieval survival game that was zombie-based coming. That's 14th century. I heard a mention of something like that. I haven't seen anything on anything of it, but... I heard about something about a medieval zombie game. But, uh, right, chuck a spear and completely miss both the boar and the tree behind it. Well, I mean, yeah, if you're terrible, but that's modern, normal people. We're talking about a guy from the medieval eras who grew up on a farm in the wilderness before this game even started. <laughs> this guy knows how to definitely hunt. Otherwise, he'd have been dead by now. There's no way his dad had that farm already fully chucked up and ready to go when he was born, since he's the oldest son. He had to help dad somehow. He definitely should know how to hunt. It's basically rogue knights versus zombies and humans. I'm hyped for that Terminator survival game that's coming to PS5. I did see that. I would love to play that as well. That'd be a good survival game for my console. Let's do the Terminator survival game. We gotta survive in the robot apocalypse. Uh, you gotta take muscle enhancements and grab them by the tusk and flip them like a pancake. I mean, that's, yeah, maybe today. Not back then, though. I don't think they needed enhancements to do that back then. Just plant pancake everybody. If, if you're not local gorilla, we'll do it for you. <laughs> well, also meeting. <laughs> your local gorilla will answer your call. The fact you can brutally execute a zombie with your shield is amazing. That does sound fun. That sounds really cool. <laughs> These knights fighting zombies. <laughs> that does sound really cool. But yeah, this has been a hard episode. This is probably the most difficult we've had with the medieval dynasty yet. This was kind of like grounded. We've reached that at that point where now we're at this issue where now we have to be really careful. Because we're now at this, what feels like for both of these games, harshness. Um, make or break. We're at that make or break moment where we need to kind of have certain stability. Or we're not going to be able to go any further. So. At least in Grounded you can die and just keep respawning. But in this game you have to make a save before you take some risks. Otherwise, you're going to have to be going back pretty far from wherever your last save was. Every game nowadays is in the 14th century. Yeah, we just want to go back to the Knights era. I think we have Knights Envy. <laughs> Sounds like you're a back alley necromancer doing some shenanigans. Exactly. It was probably, it was, it was probably, oh, I forgot his name. I was going to make a Diablo reference, but I forgot the dude's name. But stop or not, what are you doing is creating a society with capitalism and taxes. Taxes already exist in this universe. I had to pay my taxes in this episode. <laughs> By the way, if you steal too much, the villagers will exile you and you get a game over. Wait, what do you mean steal too much? Like, actually steal? Like, steal from them? Or do you mean, like, steal from the land? Like, if I'm harvesting too much resources from a village that's nearby. Like, if I'm stealing the woods or the lumber and all that. You see, you mean actually steal from them. Okay. They have the IRS, they're uh, time traveling. <laughs> Yeah, I had to pay my I had to pay my land taxes to our to uh, Unagost in today's episode. Ah, so you can steal from villagers in town. Good to know. I wouldn't do it unless we absolutely had to. I'd probably go and take some food from the kitchen lady. 
That'd be the only thing I'd probably have to take. Everything else I think my guy's good on. We're perfectly set up. I just think food's a little bit shaky. Because of the risk I have to take to kill boars and get enough at a time. If I can kill at least two boars without dying, or at least one, that covers me for a full day. That will at least give me enough food for a whole day. One boar equals a whole day of food. So at least there is, they are at least worth the risk in that fashion. The, the fox is about half a day if you have something else to eat with it already stored up. Because it only gives you six. And if you go down to 70, to, at least until we upgrade our food reduction again on how hungry we get, how fast. Letting your food bar get down to around 75 to 70%. Is around three to four pieces of meat. Whether it be cooked or dried. Four to five if it's dried meat. Because it's slightly less. But not by much. Um, so you need about four on average pieces of meat. To truly keep yourself from above and near 90% hunger bar. So you're constantly healing. And your HP is constantly restoring. Um... So, boars equal at least two days, or at least one full day's worth, unless you're overworking your character. Um, foxes are about half a day. Crows are mm, half a day as well, because they're four. Six is just an extra two pieces of meat that you'll have for later. But crows are definitely half a day for sure, like automatically 50%. Because a crow gives you four meat most of the time. So... You lose 150 Dynasty Rep if you get caught stealing. You can cheese it by saving before you heist. Yeah, just like killing boar. Just save it before you hunt the boar or before you try to steal so you don't lose any progress. Why, ty why, why type of tax evasion and money laundering do you got to be doing for the king to personally fly your head with an old classic guillotine? Pretty sure living in the rare good spot in the 14th century because the century, w because that century was shit to live through. It was the 14th century was pretty terrible. You lose, uh, uh, you can cheese it. Also, don't forget the rampant amounts of salmonella. Need extra salt blocks for prevention. Salted meat is safer, but the game doesn't seem to ac accumulate for disease. There is no disease in this game. If there was, it means that we would always need salt. We would need to make sure our meat is completely salted because even having a half, even something at 75% condition could probably get salmonella in a, in a universe like this. At least in this game, the game standpoints. But there is no disease, so we should be fine. But yeah, uh, quickly, Celie, I wanted you to vote real quick, even though I'm pretty sure you're not gonna, you're probably either gonna say the same one, or barely tip the scales in any favor. So, strategy, simulator, shooter, or city builder? Where's my plague at? <laughs> so, out of those I said, Celie, what do you vote for? One is technically already winning quite decently. But, I don't want to say which one it is. So that way it's a fair vote. <laughs> Unless you caught it earlier when I said it earlier. But yeah, simulator, strategy, city builder, or shooter. And then we'll start wrapping it up, wrapping this up and get ready to end it for tonight. Strategy Sim Builder is my option, lol. Alright, okay. Anyways, give me give me what James voted, if not Builder then. Okay, well, then that would mean Simulator. I mean, Simulator is now winning 4-4. Four to four. There's no way, with as many, since I'm a smaller channel, and not everyone technically votes every time we do this every weekend, or every theme change. We're just going to say simulator. It's reached four votes at this point. 
I don't think I have enough people on the channel to go against four votes, at least officially, as far as, like, everyone who actually chimes in in chat. For all y'all in the background watching, if you want to chime in, definitely don't feel scared to make a vote or to chime in. Uh, you can either do it in the comments below the video, in the live chat, in, the disc in our Discord, which is in the description below the video as well. Or if you know me on PlayStation, send it to me on the Guardian Core on PlayStation as well. Or if you just know me in general as Ardnot66, then you will uh, just send me a message privately and say, Hey, I vote for da da da. And don't be afraid to do so. But yeah, for as far as like everyone who chimes in chat normally, right now I think 4 is just guaranteed that it's going to be that. So Simulator is going to be tomorrow. <laughs> And see, I went full Inception and went into your dreams and planted that choice in your head. See, like, this is what Tam King said. If this game wants a hard mode, have one setting put you through the mini Ice Age of the 14th century. And then the Black Death. I think the Black Death would have been hard mode enough. The mini Ice Age makes that Doom level ultra nightmare difficulty. <laughs> Now we're just on, it's not hard anymore. It's on nightmare difficulty now. <laughs> Ultra violence. <laughs> you see, also, why is your head full of fish and floating balls? Tim, 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 my head has been invaded way too much by a certain someone. With someone's ways of trying to pollute my mind. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a lot of just James yanking stuff out. There's a lot of void in there. <laughs> if I'm not available, just consider my vote as James's decision, and that's and, and that got got has that tied me up harder than a knot at this point. So, flavor had more options. <laughs> that's true. It's hard to beat something that just you know rewrites your brain. <laughs> It's like having a favorite color. Just, this is what it's like to be a siege demon for James. Your favorite color could be green. And then he decides, no, your favorite color is now pink. And you're like, my favorite color is pink. <laughs> and to add further BS, having passing armies burn your fields. Wow. That would be ultra violence. That's doom level ultra violence difficulty you just explained. <laughs> Damn, don't touch those floating spears. They're quite literally the only reason I'm saying at this point. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. They're apex nexus created by the Zeech magic. <laughs> It's quite interesting. <laughs> but anyways, all right, guys. I think this has been a good one today. We have made, even though it was a rough, a rough path, we got a lot done. We really, we realistically, even as annoyed as I am with how tough boars are in this game, and foxes for some reason, uh... We actually got quite a bit done. We built several buildings, got a bunch of storage up and running. We basically did get kind of the stage one foundation of our village kind of up. Stage two is now farming. Or personal farming, so I can have a plot for farming and have someone assigned to it when the time comes. Because really what I'm kind of trying to do, which I learned a hard lesson from the first time I ever tried to play this game... I don't intend, except maybe a hunter, if they've changed the hunting and he, the hunter can't die, and the hunter doesn't just die all of a sudden, then the, the only person I might recruit for now is hunter. But other than that, I don't really intend to get married or recruit too many people at all, or anybody at all, really, until we're at least at full lumberjack. We already have Hunter up and running in a full, somewhat functional farm that I can assign somebody to. 
to grow to grow more resources. So Foxes, what did the fox say? It said die 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 and it stabbed me a bunch of times. <laughs> That's what it said. You could say those spears are are contained evils with some pink apparently. <laughs> I have a feeling Zeech would nuke himself just to ruin Nurgle's day. Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> By the way, if you put a guy in that wood shack, he will get you logs. Ah, that little wood one? So that is our wood. Okay, so that's up and running. So that means we're actually on stage three then. So if that counts as our wood shack, our wood chopper, then this means... The only thing missing to at least have two citizens. I know that sounds small, but I don't want to overdo it too fast like I did last time. So the only thing keeping us from getting our character married and having one other citizen to kind of mitigate. I think if we, depending on how we do it, I'll go hunter first, then get married, have her work the trading and the supply. And I'll work the farm or help the hunter, depending on which becomes more lucrative. Either that or I'll have her temporarily do farming. This is why I'm thinking the Sansa girl might be better. I don't know. I can't remember which one had a level 2 farming. They both were pretty terrible in that aspect. The two that we were going to go after. Um... We might go to another town and see what other options there are before we make a full decision on that as well. Um, I might go to Danica or whatever. The Danica? 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 Whatever. Danica? Whatever that city's name is, it, I need to go for the storage upgrades. I might go there since it's other kind of nearby as well and see what kind of people live there. See what our options are there. If we can actually kind of find a Genera, or excuse me, Jara is her name now. I need to teach myself. We've changed it. If I can find a Jara char type character, a Red Queen like type character, personality wise, and is good at either hunting or farming, she actually might defeat both purposes for me. And we might be able to get away with just one person. And I do one and she does the other. We'll have to see. But we'll have to see how that goes. Have the wife cutting trees for the lols. Also, she'd be too tired to nag. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Have her cutting the trees for the lols. But that's even more hard labor than I think farming would be. We'll check the two ladies' stats that we've already been talking to in that village next time. And at the same time, take a quick journey over to... Um, uh, Danica, uh, and check out what their options are. See what kind of ladies live in that town. It's not impossible for manor lords to have early guns or very early cannons, but that shit is expensive and no baron is buying a cannon. Yeah, or the ammunition. Ammunition is what really kills most gun supplies. It's not really necessarily the guns themselves, because really after that it's just maintenance. It's ammunition. It's supplies to keep those guns shooting. <laughs> Hell, in real life, that's kind of how it is. And once you have enough guns to go around, it really is. It's just it's bullets. Even in a... It's kind of a big thing in the zombie apocalypse. That's why Resident Evil, your biggest resource is bullets in Resident Evil. Because if you don't have enough, well... Gun can't go bang if there is no bullet. <laughs> But anyways, bloody hell or not, these swines are, har are harnessing the power of chaos gods. They're colluding with the foxes, or not, they are. They killed me. They are there. That happened. One of the foxes damn near killed me because I was already wounded from the boar. And then didn't realize the fox actually attacks you in the first, before you start stabbing it. It'll run, it'll run away before the boar will. The boar will damn near kill you if you don't kill it fast enough. If not, actually kill you. Um, but yeah. 
I agree. The foxes and the boar colluding together. This is why those swine were, be were being called by some very angry birds, eons ago. <laughs> that was a good reference. <laughs> yeah, the crows are in... The crows and eagles are in small supply now, so the, the, so the swine have taken over once more. But anyways. Bye, Arna. Hopefully they crossbow. There is a longbow. I do think the bow is the answer. I bet you the bow kills the, the, the boar in two hits. I bet you this, the regular bow, either two or three hits guaranteed. I bet you. But you have to shoot it in the face, probably. But at least the bow will be quicker. And I'll be able to notch it faster, I assume. And be able to go whoop pow, shoop, whoop pow, shoop pow. And hopefully that'll be a little bit better. I am going to check for while we go to town next episode for linen threads. We need to find out, if because if we can find at least one linen thread, then we can make a simple bow to get us over the hurdle hunting-wise in the beginning. I don't know. It might be more efficient just to try not to die and use the spears. Because the bow might be better to leave that for my hunter, or whoever I hire to be my hunter. But we'll see. Oh! Hopefully they add crossbows to Manor Lord. That would be good. By the way, you can get get a cudgel that does a lot of damage. So maybe that's the key. When it's running at you, pull out your cudgel. And just bah, 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 bah. But I haven't seen how to make that. So it must be... Maybe it's in the crafting section inside the hunting. I'll have to see what I have to make that. I bet you that's in the smith. I bet you make that in the smith. The chick that sells the backpack has clothes. She might have linen. Ah, so maybe. So we'll try that and see if... And depending on how expensive it is, um, we'll buy one or two, maybe three, just so we have extra to make another bow. So that way we can keep one for our hunter when we hire them. Things like that. We'll figure it out next episode because next episode's all going to be about farming and the final step to having a starting village. So. But that won't happen until next sur uh, survival theme though. This is the last episode for now. Until survival theme comes back up again. This, the rest of this week to two weeks are now going to be simulators. And technically this could be a simulator, but I'm not going to... It would be, be too hamstring to do that. So, simulators are going to be for the next week to two weeks now, starting tomorrow. Not sure which one we'll do first tomorrow. I uh, haven't decided yet, so I haven't typed anything up. I'll start with that tomorrow and get us moving as we move forward. So, But I'm very excited. I, simulators are going to be fun this week because I've got a lot of cool surprises for you guys on that. Both for strategy-like simulators that aren't strategies, they're more simulators because the only thing real strategy about them is make sure you know how to read a spreadsheet of stats. So, as far as strategy is concerned. But the rest is more simulative of learning how to run maybe a kingdom as a king or an emperor or a, or a duke as a reference. Or maybe being stuck in the era of World War II as you try to make your country survive through the harshness. Things like that. And of course, another major surprise, I'm not going to give a hint to that one at all, but all, except for, it's time to head back to the diner. It's time to head back to our diner. The Guardian Diner. The one that sells perfect meat above board. Anyways. <laughs> Peace and love to all of you out there. Let me see what... Oh, Seely said. Step one, raid boar. Then steal their children to sacrifice and or the meat shield against boar. And appeal to their morality. That's... Well. <laughs> see ya. Uh, no, see ya, Seely. Welcome. Uh, Y'all have a good... I don't know why I said welcome. <laughs> Y'all have a good night, everyone. See ya tomorrow for our simulator week. Peace and love, everyone. Bye, everyone. <laughs>
Bye, Sealy. Bye, Tim King. Bye, Farseer. Bye, everybody. Bye.